There's a passage in the Gospels where our Lord is reclining a table in Bethany, and a woman comes in during the dinner, and she's holding a jar uh, filled with an ointment made of genuine spikenard, and it's very precious. And she goes over to our Lord, and she takes the alabaster jar, and she breaks it over him, and pours out all of the oil upon Christ. And the response of the people who are there is negative. They say, why all this waste? That could have been sold and the money given to the poor. And our Lord says to them, leave her alone. She's done something beautiful for me. When a young person expresses interest in a religious vocation, or a young man expresses a desire for the priesthood, a lot of times the reaction can be the same as those people who are at the dinner in Bethany. Why all this waste? You know, you have all this potential. You know, the, the world is your oyster. Why would you enter the priesthood and leave all that behind? And sometimes people will say, meaning well, you know, if, if it's a young man, well, why don't you go to college and why do you work for a little while? That way you have some experience. And if you decide later on that you want to be a priest, then become somebody who is probably more relatable to people. Well, maybe that's true. But there is something powerful in seeing the witness of a young man or young, a young man who's been a priest or a young woman who's in the convent, uh, that in the height of their power and their beauty and their potential, they have heard a call from the Lord to serve him in a special way, and they responded to it, offering to him all of those things uh, in service of, of the gospel. And so it's never a wasted life, one that's, that's given to the Lord. You know, if a, a, a truly wasted life is one in which we live simply for our, ourselves and our own desires. But when we live for Christ and give him everything that he's given us, we can use those things and give them back to him in service of the gospel. Uh, that is a life well lived. And so we must not be afraid to waste our lives for Jesus. Um, you know, this woman in the, in, the, in the gospel, she wasted this precious treasure, all of it, not holding back anything of it for herself. And she gave it all to Christ. And it was reckoned as something beautiful given to Jesus. Um, we must be willing to give the beautiful gifts that he's given us back to him. Uh, in the ways that he desires for us um, as a priest, um, as, as religious. A life given to Christ is never a waste. It's a gift given to the Lord out of love for him.